Right, yep, hi all. So today is a unwrapping of um, my latest purchase of eBay. So these are, or this is, um, Sinclair FM radio watch from around about 1984, 1985 onwards. So they made um, about 11,000 of these watches um, all together. And they look really, really beautiful. Um, there's not many around today. Most of them, the strap, ha pretty much all of them, the strap deteriorates because the type of um, rubber it was, it just dries out and just flakes and goes brittle. So as you can see here, there's not probably not be much of a strap uh, with these ones. But yeah, let's have a look. So these are beautiful watches, if you can get them working. Yeah, so the first time I've looked at them, right from someone in Dorset, so the lady actually hooked them out of the tip, she said, around about 25 years ago. And so she's just kept them ever since. Apparently when she hooked them out, they did have straps, but the straps have, deter have deteriorated over the years. There we go. Right, so as you can see, we've got a pile of bits and pieces. So out. There we go. Let's flick it over gently. There's one. And there's the other. Okay, cool, cool. So let me flick those around the correct way. I'm hoping they've got battery battery covers. So yeah, as you can see, there's a pair of pair of watches. Um, you can see that's the tuner part in there. So you've got a line in it, so you, tune, you can tune the dial here. This obviously is a speaker. Um, for the volume and then you've got the actual watch part as well and then you've got um, the uh, circuit boards and the strap here going down to the battery which is cool so it's got a battery in it and the battery cover which is good and then on this one yeah so i'm guessing the yeah the battery must be underneath there so that's good so at least we've got all the bits um, that part there should just be connected um, to here. So that's fine, that's uh, probably that's a reasonable repair, that is. Um, made in Great Britain on the back there. Bits of strap remain, so you can see actually the strap, this is, the, this is literally, literally the, I've, I've never seen anyone that's not been brittle, but they're pretty much always completely brittle and falling apart, so, you know, literally falling apart into a mass. There's, there was one on eBay recently that had the strap, but it looked like it's all cracked. So, you know, you probably can't wear it. But you can see here it has a, has a groove down the back. So that then covers over uh, the circuit board. And then there's then some type of um, additional sort of like sticky material on the back here to seal it all in so you can wear it. Yeah, really, really nice, really nice design. They have like bellows, um, bellows here in between. I can clean clean all that out. Really nice hinges. It's an absolutely beautiful watch um, to wear. So I've got a few of these already, and I've got the FM radio part working, but I never had one that's got this part um, this part here working. You can see this one here is dark, which means the LCD display is probably leaked and knackered. And this one here is clear. So hopefully, you know, if a miracle exists, then that one there would actually work. And then I can try and get the radio working, you know. But it's all it's all tiny. I do know the guy actually who um was one of the key guys who developed this, um, Dagfin, uh Agnes. So I know him, you know, a little bit. You know, I've got his details and I've spoke to him a few times and all that sort of stuff. So he might be able to help me out with a bit of some these. But yeah, there you go. So those are the next sort of projects. So what I'll do is I'll take this bit here off later. I'll then attach this to a piece of cardboard just to basically protect it. You know, and then um, I'll start to, and then I'll basically get the what, get the batteries, just put the batteries in, just see if, if anything comes up. You know, this part here will, will be the antenna uh, on there for the radio, so that shouldn't affect anything other than the radio working. But I can see if I get any crackling, if I get any noise out of it. Yeah, and just see if it powers up. And if that one there does power up, then potentially happy days. Yeah, and then after that, I'll um, I'll, I'll sort of custom make some straps. I'll, I'll buy some straps which work. Um, which have a cutout, which I then sort of modify and fit and all this sort of stuff. So there's a lot of work that goes in to go get that's involved in order to get a strap on. You can't just go out and buy a strap for it. It's all sort of all custom, handmade. 
using you know basic straps which are out there which you can modify cool there we go hope this is of some interest to people let's, let's turn that little dial if that's going to do anything or not yeah i don't really feel it turning but um yeah i don't want to sort of do it too much you know cool nice one